welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to tell you guys about the glasses that I own and the glasses that you should own and what's best for y'all and tell you guys that yes, glasses are so important. Let me tell y'all, before we go on with the video, I want you guys to like this video, subscribe and turn on that post notifications so that you guys can see when I upload my next video. So without further ado, here we go first pair of glasses with with where I work and also my first pair of glasses in general was a Ray-Ban. Um, it is this Ray-Ban. It is a limited edition original Wayfair Ray-Ban. Um, definitely really cute. You can't go wrong with a Wayfair. Now you don't have to get one that is so obnoxiously cute like mine. You could just get tortoise shell or black but this was my first pair and I was 19 years old when I got it so rose gold lenses are in now when I got it rose gold lenses were not a thing I got this pair for $79.99 from 203 it was on sale and then I got my discount on it it is literally like a deep purple to gradient pink to purple again the inside is what made me fall in love with this pair it is like a floral print all hot pink literally only thing is this frame itself is very tight on me now I got it when I was 19 and maybe like 85 pounds light <laughs> lighter um, so here it is really comfortable but a little tight on my head right now so I don't wear it as often but I still love this frame they no longer sell this color but if you go to Ray-Ban's website I'm sure you'll be able to make your own so you might get lucky original Wayfair this is a size 50 um, and definitely worth it. Ray-Bans are always worth it. They have glass lenses. They're very durable and they last forever. For, and they never go out of style. So if you get your first pair, I definitely re recommend a Ray-Ban. But I also recommend for you to go and not buy it online. Unless you know how it fits you. Because you don't want to be like, ugh, it's too small. Go to any store that sells it and... you'll be able to um, but my next pair I don't have it anymore <clears throat> I gave it away but it was a Steve McQueen per sole foldable frame and I loved them totally hippie beautiful frame but I gave them away to someone for their birthday um so third frame with the company third frame so third frame I got was this Versace. I love Versace. When I think about the most durable frame other than Ray-Ban, I would think Versace. I met a woman who bought a frame of Versace's in 1996. Yes, 1996. When I met her, I was 21 years old. She had this frame for 21 years and it looked perfection, you guys. The only thing was the lenses were a little scratched, but it's because she had them for 21 years. I was like, what? How long? She was like, 1996. I was like, ma'am, I was born that year. She was like, I know. Oh, isn't that so? She was like so happy. That's how good Versace is, man. And the same thing for Ray-Ban. Honestly, I truly recommend these two brands to you. Ray-Ban and Versace. Price range for Ray-Ban runs from 128 You might be lucky with a 99 But 128 to... $2.99 um, but also they have titanium Ray-Bans which are almost $500 but they're titanium so they do not rust on the ocean if you're on the ocean often so Versace this one I got because if you know me and you're watching this video then you know I needed to get this pair because I love the beach I'm a truly hippie person and here it is Versace. This is the tribute collection from Versace. If you are familiar or fashionista and you know you love Versace, then you've seen this print before. It was created before he died. He's made this collection before he died. Um, but the prints. So it's a tribute to him. So it's called the Versace Tribute Collection. It is starfish, light blue sky blue, gold emblem of Medusa, and I needed them. This is the pair I would wear today because no makeup, you know, 
like I am just going around talking to people people looking at me like what the heck does she got on what kind of glasses are those this is me this is what I would wear today just because I'm chilling today like oh hi oh are those real yes ma'am wow like like these are those glasses that you stop people for <laughs> they're so much fun though I truly like love them I wore them to the beach once I'm sorry, I'm really stuffy, you guys, but I do love these glasses, and I'm happy I did get them. These glasses were $3.98 when they first came out, but now they're, I believe, $2.95 if you go online for them. And I'll put all the style numbers for all of these glasses in the description for you guys. Um, next, oh, also, this was $79. I did tell you. It was $79.99. So next... <laughs> Um, my next pair was a free pair from my boss. Um, she was like, hey, um, do you want these? I'm like, duh, it's an Armani Exchange. If you're familiar with Armani Exchange, then you know that this is the print for Armani Exchange. These are the glasses I wore yesterday. These are very everyday glasses. I didn't feel like wearing anything too special. These are all UV protected glasses, 100%. I cannot wear polarized. If you do not know what polarized is, it blocks the glare from the sun. But I love these so much. Very simple, everyday glasses. Can't go wrong with it. Versace runs from $95 to $125, $115. Very affordable and very durable glasses as well. I would recommend Armani Exchange. They last a very long time. Never hear complaints about them ever. Um, so yeah, Armani Exchange, very comfortable. Sorry. Um, my next frame was one I got this year. The next two I got this year. Um, and this is a Miu Miu. This Miu Miu was, is this it? This Miu Miu was $420. Um, I honestly love the detail of Miu Miu. Like, literally beautiful. It's very high-end. If you have a Vogue magazine in your home at all, or you're familiar with Vogue, Miu Miu is a hot commodity in Vogue, just like Prada, just like Fenty. Fenty. Freaking Rihanna! Fendi. <laughs> so, <clears throat> here is my Miu Miu. Now, if you saw any kind of rhythm with all the ones I have here, it is that they're all plastic frames. So this year I really wanted metal framings for my glasses. And I feel like I'm wearing a butterfly on my face when I have them on. But they're very comfortable, very airy, comfortable, not heavy, lightweight. I said airy <laughs> five times. But I love these. These are another, like, fashion pair. Not for the sun. I would not recommend these if you're going to the beach or, like, running. Or I would never recommend these. But they are durable. You just really have to really take care of them because they're a frameless frame. So it's easy. It's they're easily broken if you're not careful. They're not just going to fall apart, though. So these are Miu Miu. These were $4.20, and I love these. These are, I, I would all, I say I alternate um, three of these often. It would be the Chanel, the Miu Miu, and the Armani the most. Um, but I do gravitate to the Chanel, which is the last but not least frame that I'm going to show you guys. I love my Chanel. I worked so hard to have a Chanel frame, and I'm so happy that my boss saw that and was like, yeah, so if you deserve it. Um, so, I'm just dropping things. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah, we're, we're cool. Um, here are my Chanel's. If you own a Chanel bag, then this is kind of the same box that you would get from your Chanel bag from any purchase from Chanel. So cute. It's literally a clutch itself. So cute. It has the chevron on the back and on the bottom. These are so gorgeous. Literally have um, lasered cutouts of chevron on the lens. The nose is titanium. So it has the C's for Chanel on the nose pieces. Chevron on the tips of the ear. The temples. And this is one that if I had to choose, I could only keep one. I would keep this one. This one, like, fits like a glove. And I love Chanel. I think Chanel's last forever with care. You have to take care of your glasses. You have to clean them well. 
um, buff them constantly. Don't just leave dirt from the sand, dirt from the air, dirt from your fingers on the glasses. Do not do that. People do that all the time and it messes up lenses and then people get mad. You get mad. I get mad. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Take care of your things. These are the darkest glasses. I own and I love them so much they're so comfortable and it's like a piece of jewelry like I like dainty necklaces and like earrings I like simple things and this is simply like just a piece of jewelry it's like an add-on to who I am like I love it so much so to clean your glasses because all glasses are worth it Unless you literally want to have eye issues when you get older. Please, please, please take this seriously. Get glasses. Armani Exchange, 95 to 112, 115, 120. Um, Ray-Ban from 128 to 300. Versace from 225 to, uh, I've seen 400. Uh, Miu Miu from, I believe, 400 to 500 I've seen. And Chanel from... 390 to a thousand okay so if you have any questions please leave them below I have no problem answering them you guys I literally know everything about glasses so don't hesitate to ask me questions down below in the comments how I clean my glasses where I work we sell this happens to be a Michael Kors care kit um, we sell these um, we sell these so these are um, lens cleaner Oh my god my nose these are a lens cleaner and it's it's refillable for life so what I love about this bottle is it's very earth friendly before this bottle my daddy you guys I'm sick I'm sorry my dad um, wears eyeglasses and I remember him like always cleaning it like with like water Windex like um, the like napkins they sell to clean lenses from Costco and I was just like okay cool but but you're throwing it out anyway like what's the point that's so bad for the environment and everything so I have like three of these um the other one I have is a clear bottle refillable so like I love them I don't throw them out <laughs> they keep I clean my phone with this stuff I love it so much and I just got this one um, and I, I'm never using this cloth <laughs> but I love it so much it's a Michael Kors cloth so I'm never using it but I love it and they are they come with cloths and everything to, a microfiber cloth so that's the thing all the glasses come with cloths but the cloths don't are not used to clean the glasses the cloths are used to cover the lenses and protect the lenses when they're in the cases so let me show you so this is the cloth for my Ray-Ban says Ray-Ban on it really cute one of the largest cloths right but it's used for me to cover the lenses it's not supposed to be to clean the glasses I wouldn't recommend it to clean the glasses because they're not microfiber they're they might with time scratch lenses or leave marks on the lenses so they're used to cover the lenses. Same thing with the Chanel, same thing with Versace, same thing with Miu Miu, same thing with Armani Exchange. Um, so if you need help cleaning your eyeglasses, um, your phone, on everything, your phone, um, iPad, sunglasses, this is what I clean it with. Very worth it. You buy one, refill it at any sunglass hut, this is only for sunglass hut. I know LensCrafter might have one as well, but this is for sunglass hut. So you can refill it at any sunglass hut wherever you live. So, yes, this is my collection. How to take care of your glasses. Definitely, definitely that product, the lens cleaner. Really good, very affordable, very affordable, and really protects your lenses. Um, glasses are worth it. I have customers constantly where I work that are like, hey, like if I knew when I was your age that glasses, without glasses, my eyes would need and have so much issues right now, I would have always worn Ray-Bans. They say Ray-Bans because they grew up with Ray-Bans, and I love that. Um, but I truly think they're definitely worth it. On my Instagram, there was a couple of people that wanted to know if glasses are worth it. They are so worth it. Now, do you have to spend 
as much as I have? No, you do not. You do not. If you work on a regular basis, say $50 a check, and you could get yourself a Ray-Ban or an Armani Exchange, a Ralph Lauren, a Michael Kors, or a Tory Burch. Very affordable, very luxurious, very good for your eyes. Um, if you want to splurge, if you're a sneakerhead or you, you're a fashionista, you love fashion, you're like, you know what, Sophia, I want a good pair, but I want a high-end pair. Chanel, Versace, Gucci, Persol, Prada. Um, I could go on. Um, all of our peoples, Tom Ford. I definitely recommend it, but if you just want a pair to drive around, go to Disney, go kayaking, go to Miami, you just want a pair like that, you just want to chill, Ray-Ban, Oakley, Costa, Maui Gym, um, still recommend Tory Burch, still recommend Prada, Tiffany, you know, glasses are 100% worth it. What brands are the best brands? In my opinion, the best brands with what I have would be Versace. And Ray-Ban, the best brands. Um, I would say Chanel. So let me add Chanel. Chanel, Versace, and Ray-Ban, the best brands. The most durable. <coughs> oh my God, I'm so sick. I'm so fatty. No, I'm not. I'm just sick. I can't help it. There's sinuses in Florida. I'm just mad that I'm sick during the summer. Besides the point. Um, so yeah, Chanel has mostly women framings. But they're so durable. Like, I have people come in to where I work all the time with Chanel's that are just as old as the woman that had one from 1996. And they're beautiful glasses. They last forever. Same thing with Ray-Ban. Like, Ray-Ban has men and women's. Ray-Ban is unisex for men and women. So don't hesitate to go in there and pick out a pair. And if you're iffy, who cares? They're Ray-Bans. They're all unisex. So you'd be fine. Same thing with Versace. Versace has men's and women's, mostly still unisex because Versace's can get really crazy. Mine are blue with seashells. Versace's have a lot of patterns. Some are really subtle. Some are just classic Versace Medusa. I really want to sing the song, but I'm not. But if you know the song, I see you. Um, but yeah, you guys, glasses are worth it. Glasses can be affordable, for sure. And these three brands are the ones I think that are the most durable for all men and women. I'm so happy you guys really wanted to hear about my glasses collection. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys closer to thank you guys. Please like, subscribe, comment. Um, leave the emoji with the sunglasses down below if you made it this far. And... Before you know it, I'll be back with more videos. Have a good day.